Today I'm going to talk to you about panic attacks, which is a very big problem for many, many people. So I will tell you how to make them go away. What happens during a panic attack is, I'm going to give you a metaphor, you're in an airplane and at that moment where there's that steep ascent after it's taken off, you have that zero gravity feeling, your stomach kind of drops. And with anxiety, the plane doesn't level off. You stay in the zero G feeling. And that doesn't feel great. But the real problem comes when you decide that you want to land the plane because you don't want to be in zero G. So you go to the cockpit and there's no pilot and there's no co-pilot. There's just a sea of controls and you have no idea how to operate it. And you feel helpless and then you realize you're going to die and you have your panic attack. So the question is, how do you land the plane? Well, landing the plane is incredibly easy if you can think straight, because if you can think, then all you have to do is bring your body back into neutral. Your heart rate has quickened, the adrenaline has caused dehydration, so all you really have to do is super, super hydrate and get your heart rate down through breathing or maybe some qigong, you iron yourself out and you land the plane. The only problem is that in the middle of the panic, because you feel so helpless, you can't think. So any efforts are going to be wild and desperate and maybe even make the panic worse. So how do you uh, find your mind so that you can think? How do you get away from that helpless feeling? Well, the belief uh, in psychoanalysis is that you are repressing knowing something about yourself. And that means you don't have power, because when we repress, we get rid of parts of ourselves and we need all of ourselves to have power. So what are we repressing? Well, it used to be thought that we were repressing something sexual, desire, longing, wanting, needing and that we absolutely were prohibiting ourselves from those feelings didn't feel safe. Then later we realized mm -mm, it's not just sex, it's also aggression, anger, frustration, disappointment, rage. And if you're not allowed to feel those feelings, if those feelings feel dangerous to you, then you'll push them away, again losing your power. So how do you get those feelings back? Well, it won't work to tell yourself that, that that's what's happening to you. Oh, I must be repressing aggression or I must be repressing some sort of desire. Unfortunately, that, that uh, is all up here and it won't connect you back to your feelings. You have to connect back to your feelings by wandering through your mind, associating to uh, all the feelings that make you uneasy and focusing on them and journaling and, and being in your analysis, free associating, dreams, what happened during your week, memories, dreams for the future, until one day you start to feel that uneasy feeling and you're getting closer and closer to your power, what it is that felt too big to know. And then, of course, once you're comfortable with it and your analyst basically says, oh, that feeling, oh yeah, of course, so that's a normal feeling or, or whatever you'll hear that will make that feeling no longer scary to you and there won't be a need to repress it, you'll have your power and you'll have mind, you can think. And at that point, you'll walk into the cockpit and you'll discover that all of the controls are voice activated. And you can say to yourself, oh, I better drink a lot of water right now and I better take a few deep breaths and land this plane and, and you'll be able to do it. So keep talking. Bye.